Hi everyone. This is a special setting for a special day. It's the new moon in Leo. We're about to enter the 8-8 portal, but it's not the 8-8, it's the 8-8-8. <laughs> Powerful energies, guys. I'm excited about this reading. It's going to be an all sign Aries to Pisces for this new moon. A prelude to my A8 portal reading. As you guys know, <clears throat> Saturn will be squaring Jupiter on August 9th. That's a big event. Recalling the conjunction of 2020. In Aquarius, we know that brought the reset. I, I even am scared to say the reset. So what's going on? Smoking a cigarette as I speak to you guys. So Jupiter and Gemini. Squaring Saturn in Pisces. Gemini the baby. Gemini learning. Pisces. The source, I want to say. The spirit. There's a baby crying. It's going to be painful. Although the whole energy is peaceful. Do you hear that baby crying in the, in the back? It's not an easy energy, guys. Okay? Did you hear that? Okay. Mercury's going to go retrograde. It is retrograde, actually. But it's going to be swinging between Virgo and Leo. It's going retrograde in Virgo. Mid-month, it goes back into Leo. Venus is in Virgo. It's very important you look at your chart right now, guys. I'm not going to get into the astrology, really. Because I have a lot to do. Because we have 12 signs to go through. I just hope you guys are well. And then you're enjoying this beautiful scenery here. Looks like I'm in a paradise, right? It's all about what you make it. To me, this place was purgatory. It's perspective. It's about perspective. It's about your healing you've done. The release, the acceptance. It's sage. And let's get into it before the sun goes down. It's not going to be cute like it is now. There are lullabies. There are bugs. They are, there are butterflies. And I saw a dead bird too. See, it's a whole mix, guys. Please, guys, consider subscribing to the channel, helping the channel grow. Paypaling to help the channel grow. Liking and commenting to help the channel grow. Let's get into it. Right now smoking a cigarette you guys know I roll cigarettes okay it's expensive <laughs> let's start with Aries now it's honking see after the pain there's a judgment there's an ascension a revelation okay here we go Aries are you ready let's get into the energy Spirit of the Light, Guardian Angel, Ancestors, God Almighty, Source. What do you have for Aries? Show us clearly. This sun is beautiful. It's your fellow fire. Garden at the gate. You, you're not going to see the cards. You're going to have to trust me. Garden at the gate. It's a 30. What are you afraid of? Aries, whatever you are holding back, whatever is scaring you, keeping you from moving forward, is actually keeping you 
from your door to personal healing and happiness. There is a man that is thinking about you, that wants a happy family and a blossoming abundance with you. A man that is a, supposed to bring balance in your life. A very wise man. But perhaps you need some more healing. That's okay. That's okay. You need to get back to your rituals. We have the bison ritual. In this picture, she looks very shamanic. She has um, blue feathers. Blue could be significant to you. Which is the third chakra as well. It's an eight. Eight, eight portal. Spirit wants you to trust in the divine. Spirit wants you to reconnect to your divinity. To your spirit. To your practices. You have magic running through you. And it is time that you use it. For your greatest good. I feel like a lot of you don't know how powerful you are. Aries. Okay, you are very, very, very powerful. Aries. From the moonology, we have the end of a tough cycle approaches, but it's up to you. Full moon in Capricorn. Perhaps are we stubborn? Perhaps are we conditioned by society or upbringing? that tethers us, that keeps us from moving forward, that judges us. You are a spiritual being, Aries. You are the black sheep, perhaps. Not, I'm sure, for most of, most of you. This is the test. It's initiation for my Aries here. Take control. I'm hearing summoning summoning some of you have been having visions dreams synchronicities a calling but you're scared because it's woo hoo hoo no 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 it's your ancestors your angels spirit calling you to mission okay aries all right let's get into tarot What is blocking the Aries? You have the Knight of Swords. People attacking you for what you're talking about because it's new to you. So you are talking about it. And they're cock blocking it. I mean, let's just be real. But your bravery, your capacity, your ability to discern Aries should not be hindered by anyone. Or nothing. It is time to go towards your abundance. Okay, Aries? Okay. Spirit is nudging you. Um, this is your destiny. We have the Four of Cups and the Justice. Next, after the Knight of Swords. There's an initiation here for Aries, but Aries, you are scared, understandably. Understandably. Um, yeah. <laughs> you are cock blocking yourself, Aries. You have an expected income here. What is owed to you? What you've manifested, expectations after that. Then you have message reversed. Spirit is trying to communicate with you to put you on the right path. This is the time for you to choose because you have to choose. You have to choose. It's free will. Aries. Mm -mm -mm. You are chosen right now. 
and um, I'm just afraid that the people, the noise around you is going to deter you from embarking on this new journey of divinity that is owed to you. <sighs> there is the divine trying to speak to you right now, Aries, from the um, other deck, which is not the Kipper, but it's still from Tiro Marchetti. It's the um, Lenormand. We have the card six with the king of wands. Take action. This card is so beautiful because there's this storm, but there's like clouds clearing, and then you have the sun and you have three birds. Three might be a number that's significant to you. It's collaboration. I feel like it's your ancestors next to you. Uh, yep, the bear, a leg up. A, a, a deceased person. The lilies are here. Mm -hmm. Spirit is nudging you, Aries. Please do not ignore this message. Okay. Let's 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 see what's what, what's blocking you from the <laughs> no bullshit deck. I don't remember what it's called really, but it's the. I don't know, an apologetic deck? I didn't bring the, the, the card boxes because it's too much. <laughs> I'm in the garden right now. It says, stop fucking whining is your card. It says, no one wants to listen to that shit. Complaining makes you weak. You have the strength to change the world. That's what your destiny is. <laughs> I added that. Stop fucking. It says, again, no one wants to listen to that shit. Complaining makes you weak. You have the strength to change the world. This is with the justice card here. <laughs> this card from the um, Lenormand with the clouds here. I wish you could see it. This is your destiny. It is time to, revisit, to revise how you've been living, who you've been talking to, who you've been... Like, who are you? And then you guys are the first sign. You're the babies. You're the sovereign sign. You are the rebirth. You usher in spring where everything blooms. And there is a special person on the other side that is so there with you, but you're not listening. Okay? Pay attention to that. One last card from the Sacred Destiny Oracle for Aries. Purity. It's the wolf with two different eyes. And then you have inner peace reversed. You are resisting. What is this resisting resistance? Uh? about Aries. What are you resisting? The truth? Your inner calling? I feel like that's what you're resisting. Okay. And Saturn is here with the um, astrological deck, the last card. We have Saturn. You are so hard on yourself. You restrain yourself. I feel like you guys have a lot of responsibility Self-control is very important for you, although there's this fire inside you that wants to burn. You know, gravity keeps us grounded, but sometimes we need to be in the whirlwind so that we can really find our footing. How crazy is that, right? You need to be in the chaos to find your footing. Aries, you're being called to mission. But your doubts, your doubts, your fears, especially, I feel like you have a lot of conditioning you have to peel off of you. And the same ancestor that is by your side, the lilies, the bear, like a, the four of cups, has dealt with that and is asking you, please break the chain. Please break the chain. We want to help you get your abundance. Okay, Aries? All right. Love you guys. I hope this was helpful. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Everything below, everything you need, if you want to donate. I was thinking of doing like one question um, readings for $10. So that's open. All you have to do is email me if you want to know more. Thank you, Aries.
Have a lovely day, evening, night. And I sure will see you for the 88 Porto. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye. Hi, Taurus. How are you guys doing? Welcome to your new moon in Leo reading. Hope you love the setting. I love it. So peaceful. The ducks. The butterflies. Dragonflies. There are blue, dark blue butterflies that are be significant for you. They look almost black. We have Angel of Balance. Sorry, you're not going to be able to see the cards. It's a 48, which is a 12 in expansion. I know it's harsh, but Spirit said, get yourself together. I don't know why Spirit said that. I'm hearing, get yourself together. Okay. <clears throat> Or maybe you've been dealing with a lot right now. Balance is about to come into your life. Okay, Taurus. You have a lot going on. You have Jupiter squaring um, Saturn and Pisces. There's like existential crisis going on here. One minute you're happy, one minute you're sad. You're like, what the fuck? Am I going crazy? No, you're not. It's a shake-up. It's supposed to <coughs> realign you. From the Monology card, we have a win-win alchemist forecasted, uh, full moon in Libra. And then with the Angel of Balance from the Energy Oracle, I'm thinking maybe some of you are dealing with something um, uh, legal, either romantic or not, but something that has to do with another party where it's push and pull. You're dealing with a push and pull, okay? I feel that. Let's get into the Divine Animal Oracle. You have the sacred ibis learning. Definitely it's a lesson. We know everything is a lesson. But then we have the, the white horse, freedom. So it's a win, and then the win-win outcome. See? Trust in the divine. Let the divine do its work. You do yours. You let the divine do its work. Don't be afraid because your heart um, is pure because you have done nothing wrong that things are definitely going to go in your favor. Yes, sometimes things we think go in our favor go totally wrong because it's part of the lesson. But this time, Taurus, this time, mm -mm, this is your win. You've learned. And freedom is about to be yours. Okay, Taurus? And with that Jupiter energy in your sign, baby. Not Jupiter, Uranus, sorry. It's it's about to change everything. Jupiter's in your second house. Money is here even for you. <clears throat> okay, you have Uranus in your sign. Change the tower energy. It might seem like chaos now, but everything is working in your favor. It's not happening to you. It's happening for you. And furthermore, we have a win situation here and freedom at the end. This is the end. It's the end of you doubting. It's the end of unbalance. It's the end confusion. It's the end of confusion. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's get into the tour. What did I say? Ace of Pentacles. There's money here. <laughs> three of Swords reversed. Ace of Pentacles, Three of Swords reversed, and the Knight of Wands. And chair reverse bottom of deck. Um, I feel like there's a new beginning but because of the past the, this this trials and tribulations some of you this is divorce 
it's a separation, whether it's love or not, but it's a heart separation. Somebody you really trusted. There was love involved for sure, whether it's romantic or not. <clears throat> somebody attacked you. Somebody disappointed you. It was back and forth. I'm hearing back and forth, back and forth. Finally, this back and forth is becoming peace. It's about to become peace. Let me see what's in the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I said chariot reverse hyphen. <clears throat> okay. Um, you thought this situation would never end, but it's already ended. You just don't see it. Spirit already planned everything. Spirit has saw your heart. Spirit saw your suffering. You know, it's already ended. You don't see it yet because it's not here yet. The spirit wants you to be free. Spirit sees the discomfort, not only, but sees the unfairness. All right? Okay. We have a mature man. This could be with a father figure, a mature man, somebody. Yep, house. After that, and then lovers. And then change. Um, this, I feel like a lot of you, this is a marriage. Some kind of bond, some kind of contract. Um, this has to do with seven or love. Like, uh, I don't feel like it's work. With, oh, sorry. It was the lovers. Yeah, definitely. This is for, for a lot of you, Taurus. This is a divorce or a living situation, nearly marriage that ended. It's like, oh, you got offered something and it turned out to be, oh my God, an ambush. I'm hearing ambush. <laughs> you, you feel like you're ambushed. Like somebody reeled you in and then became super abusive. Threw you off balance. You are about to be free. Like held shit over you. Like I'm paying for everything. You have no money. Kind of energy. like narcissistic. You know, they put you in a corner so that you feel like you don't have anything. So then you have to obey. Air coats. You know what I mean? A lot of you guys are were dealing with a, a narcissist. Let's get into the Kipper. Not the Kipper. The Lord Norman. Okay, two cards. Mm, yeah. The sickle and the dog. Yeah. The more you were they were beating you up because that's what they wanted. They they were beating you up. This is a narcissist. The sickle and the dog. They were doing this to keep you fettered, imprisoned. The this is a narcissist, guys. I'm straight up. This, I, like my voice changed. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. Now I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. Okay. Ugh. Listen. I feel, and I know you feel it too. That uh, something is shifting here. Change we have from the Kipper. It could be a parent. Mm -mm. But the sickle and the freaking dog. This is, person is very manipulative and narcissistic. <laughs> okay. And they didn't want your success. Um, they saw the star in you. Success from the Destiny Oracle. You're not going to see the cause. I'm sorry. I just touched my voice. Um... They, they saw openness after that. They saw your power from the get-go. Because in this sickle, we kind of have a rainbow energy. And it's a 10. And then you have the dog with like a ribbon. Like this person? Ooh, it's a narcissist. You were game to them. You were supply. I don't care who it is. This person considers you supply for us. Okay? Let's see what's blocking you. Like, what's in your head today? Like, what narratives are you telling yourself? Oops. 
you have, be fucking grateful. Shit could be so much worse. <laughs> I don't think it could be so much worse. Cause I feel like you feel like your world world is crumbling. But spirit wants you not to believe in every shitty thought you have. Okay. And stop trying to change people. It doesn't work. And fuck apologies, okay? Fuck the apologies. Don't do it. Live your life. Laugh. Set yourself free. You are caring too much about this person because you are programmed. Yeah, they definitely did a number on you. They brainwashed you. I'm not going to lie. Okay? Mm -mm. Well, to finish with the offer towards the spirit, let's get the destiny or oops sorry you have healing chaos so there's definitely healing and freedom here i told you this is a lesson you had to learn it's kind of saturn energy some of you have saturn and pisces you have changed twice okay twice so no need to worry baby it's over You are the one that's going to break the chains, freedom from the animal spirit oracle. You are the one that's going to bring balance. This person, this is the last time this person is doing this. Um, if it's a father figure or something family oriented, um, it's a bully energy. This person, you are a air coat, black sheep, but are you? You're the awake, like, okay, here we go. Ooh, love that. Love it, spirit. Thank you. You are the awakener. You are their karma. Love it. Thank you, spirit. Spirit, thank you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes. Okay. All right. You are divine. It's over. Your suffering, the injustice, the abuse. Reality check. Shit. The aided part. <sighs> you have to put in yours too. For sure. This is not. You know what I'm saying. If you're in the dog energy. Just taking it. Taking the beating. Nope. It's not going to work. You have to prompt change to get change. You have to know who you are. You have to stand up. Speak up. No matter how hard it is. If you have to run. Run run some of you have to run this is serious energy here okay love you taurus take care <sighs> please consider subscribing to the channel helping it evolve and touching other souls like the, the video uh, donate to the channel and i love you guys and i'll see you next time for the 88 portal i don't think i'm going to be going through the 12 signs here it's yeah pretty intense I might go through six and I will do the other six if you want to watch your rising and your moon. Or maybe you're watching your rising. I don't know. But anyway, I love you. You are free. You are born free. Don't let anybody take your freedom away. Love you. Bye. Do you guys hear those birds? I love nature. I, I don't come here often. It's so beautiful, right? Okay. But I decided to come here today. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to do the 12 signs, but I'll, I mean, I'll try to do six. Come back tomorrow because I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right. Whew. Hi, Gemini. Let's light a little bit sage. Why do I want to light sage for Gemini? Clearing, clearing. There's some clearing to do here, Gemini. There's some clearing. Mm -mm -mm. Some of you need to relax. There's anxiety. Normal. Jupiter in your sign. Oh my God, I have to do this. Oh my God, what does this mean? What is going on? Da -da -da. And then Jupiter is squaring Saturn and Pisces. Am I an imposter? Am I in divinity? Am I possessed? I'm hearing. Hmm. Trying to light my cigarette. Not working. Some of you are doing 
you know, the numbing situation. You're trying to numb something. Because my cigarette is not lighting. It is a cigarette, though. It looks like a joint because it's rose. But anyway, Gemini, hey. Yeah, this is happening. This square to Saturn. Jupiter, Saturn. Jupiter's in your sign. Mm-hmm. And Mars, too. Yeah, Gemini, you're a little bit um, confused, <laughs> to put it lightly. But I feel like you are going through an existential crisis. One is Gemini not. But I feel like um, it's deeper. Let's see. It's deeper. Again, angel of balance, just like Taurus, which is your 12th house. Makes sense, right? You're psyche. Yeah, losing your mind kind of vibe. Taurus just had that. Ooh, let's see. Let's get um, spirit animal. Taurus, please, spirit. Uh huh. You have the hyena. Fear. Yes. There's definitely anxiety here for Gemini's. And the. And the uh, oh. The, uh, mm, how? What? I can't speak. Because your ruler, Mercury, is, about, is, is in retrograde. It's in Virgo. It's about to. It's in Virgo, but then it's go back in Leo. So you have a hard time right now with Mercury retrograde because you're asking yourself all these questions. It could lead to kind of like a psychosis for some of you. But if not, just asking yourself the questions, you know, and um, should I say this? Should I not say this? Um, is it, are they going to think I'm crazy? I'm hearing, please be authentic. Fuck the rest. Okay. Mm. Okay. All right. <sighs> Gemini, you guys are brilliant. The world needs you. Because you make people question themselves. You make people take accountability. Because what you say sometimes is over the top. But sometimes it's to shake up shit. And this is exactly it. So don't have fear. Be yourself. And you know what? We're all here to work together. So whatever you say, if you're being judged for it, those people judging you, it's because you trigger them. If they're not judging you, they're listening because you are on the same wavelength they are, you're supposed to trigger each other. If they listen, you trigger each other. If they don't and they judge you, you trigger them and who gives a fuck? Okay. Mm -hmm. You have time for healing from the moonology, balsamic moon. Which is like almost a new moon. It's, a, it's about a new perspective. You guys are air. Get out of your head, you says. Get out of your head, Gemini. You're dealing with personal issues. Definitely fear here. Your emotions are all over the place. Um, you're dealing with work, but at the same time you're doing family things. You are you're just taking much more than you could. You are superb. You are doing fine. You are doing great. Spirit says. Keep it up. Because when it's balanced, it's beautiful. When it gets into that extra shit, it becomes manic. It becomes irrational. And that's when it's not productive. Do you get what I'm saying? Okay. All right. Evaluate your connections. Who is there for you? Who is triggered by you and just is triggered and calls you out, shuts you out? Those people don't get it. They're not at your energetical level. They are not as awakened as you are. I, if I'm not mistaken, the serious star is in your guys' sign. This whole aided portal, if you guys don't know, it's when Sirius, the brightest star, is closest to Earth, and it's aligned with the Sun in Leo and the galactic center in freaking 27 degrees of Sagittarius. So you guys are wise. That's your destination. You might be babies, because you are the babies of the sign. You represent the children. But your destination is that of dogma. It's that of guru status. Because that's what you guys do. You are willing to learn. Like any other sign. You guys go through it. This is your... You There's no ifs and ifs about it. You guys, that... You learn. Willingly. And that is your power. You're curious. 
and you evaluate. Sometimes you might go down the rabbit hole. That is maybe the challenge. That is the trick. That's the lesson. Because that's fear doing that to you. You become in between worlds. And this fear card is a hyena and you got two worlds. One is gray. There's no leaves. The, 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 the animals are skeletons. A skeleton, sorry. And the other one, you have this like, beautiful oasis. Yeah, yeah. It's you. And then we have Angel. You got to balance this, Gemini. You are destined for greatness because it is your destiny from birth. I don't care what sign you are, who you are, what your karma is. Uh, it's your sign. Your opposite is a freaking <laughs> sad. Hey, hello, Galactic Center. This eight inch portal is bringing a revelation. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We need to readjust, rearrange, stop beating ourselves up, and start getting out of that monkey mind and the rabbit hole. That is your your worst thing is your rabbit hole. You willingly go in the rabbit hole. Then you have the three of pentacles from the tarot. Like I said, people that get it, get it. People that don't, don't. You stay in your truth, queen of wands. <laughs> I'm telling you. Listen. They get it or they don't. It might make you sad when they don't. It might make you embarrassed. Question yourself. Am I crazy? What's going on? Who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Even my, I'm a cancer. I have a lot of Gemini people, family, dear people. Fuck, fuck the labels, family, friends, whatever. People, human beings, souls. And sometimes I, I admit, they could be a lot. But you know what I appreciate? They go in every fucking corner. Every fucking corner of the room. What is that? It's a four. We're going the corners here. We're like, the perimeter is a fucking chapter. Sometimes they go, oh, oh, oh. yeah. They don't check the perimeters. They want to dig and see, oh, I feel something here. Let's go down here. What's up there? And that's when they go into the rabbit hole. But essentially, Gemini's, they do what? They check the perimeter. And you know what that gives? Security. People that know it will appreciate it. Three of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. I mean, Queen of Swords. People that don't, don't. And people that get it will tell you. Mm, I think you're going too far with that. Those are the people you want to be around. Those are the people that are part of your abundance, that wish you abundance, and that are going to be in your life forever. And you're going to create beautiful things with them. Because they get you. Okay? All right. Whew. Okay. Mature man. Again, you have a lot of cards that are similar to Taurus. So go, you might be dealing with a family room. Yeah. You, you might be having um, back and forth with uh, a family member that's a Taurus here very stubborn you're stubborn obviously they're stubborn um yeah mm -hmm. yep mm -hmm. but it would be so beautiful because somehow in the midst of all this conflict and this misunderstanding there's magic there's fortune there's community but you can't force it and maybe you see it before they do right the source is very earth-based. You guys are air, so you're very intelligent. But also, you're not just air. You you can tap in. And like I said, I feel like Sirius is aligned to you guys' sign. So that makes you even more uh, connected than the other signs. I mean, Aquarius, hard to beat. Hard to beat. Hard to beat Aquarius. Mm. Libra, out of the picture. But between you and Aquarius, I don't know, but I feel, I don't know, serious, serious, serious is coming out, serious, mm -hmm. serious, I think is in your sign. From the Lenormand, we have the snake. It's overpowering, it's like, um, 
aggressive. This could be a parent that doesn't... Sorry, I got cut off. You guys are ancient souls. So like I said, this family person here... I don't know when I got cut off. I'm so sorry. Gemini, you guys are ancient souls. You have mature man, family room, the snake, and the star. This, the conflict, okay? The conflict is, is fear. The thing is, like, you fear what you're saying, that you're over the top, but they fear what you're saying because somehow it resonates with them. Does that make sense? I'm so sorry it got cut off because I was really channeling a minute ago. Ooh, okay. Mm-mm-mm. Uh-uh-uh. Okay. Mm-mm. some astrology here shit that's three signs i think i'm gonna do th i'm gonna have to get off of here it's too much eight ha intimacy eight house i told you guys eight house scorpio they you fear 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 intense it's intense you guys are intense the mystery is how is it that you're so connected to the underworld how is it that you make so much sense to my heart my soul you resonate but logically, on the 3D, you seem crazy. Inheritance energy is here. Kundalini energy is here. You're supposed to awaken this person, the underworld. It, it's like you know things. And again, the danger is like you need to sometimes be level-headed. Angel of Balance, your first card. Because you could get in the rabbit hole. And then everything is ruined. It's ruined. Anything else you say doesn't matter. You, you missed the point. You... You know... This could be a spouse. Mm -hmm. With this 8th house intimacy. It could. This is people close to you, three of pentacles. They get it or they don't. I keep getting, they get it or they don't. But you also, Gemini. Sometimes you don't help your case. <laughs> okay? All right. And if they get it, they will open the conversation. Open to have the conversation. Be like, yeah, but I, I think you're, you know. But if just like straight up, you're like, oh my God, you're too much. You're crazy. Those people are not for you. They're not. Fuck them. Shut up. Yes. Okay. Well, let's close this up because the video is shutting off. I don't know why. <clears throat> let's get a... What is blocking you? And then we'll get an oracle. Ooh, that was good. It says, you need a good fucking cry. What are you holding back? It says, get the ugly cry on it that should go your soul will thank you yeah they get it or they don't i know it hurts it hurts being misunderstood by people you really care about and and, and, and then on top of it being judged <laughs> you know um but you can't make them so what do we do we cry it out we transmute that we balance it and go balance and we let them be. But we're still open when they come back. But you're definitely not going to come back with the snake energy. Judgy. Biting. Pointing the finger. Trying to fuck me over. Because somehow in the deep down you know I am speaking truth. Spitting truth. Uh, somehow in these people's hearts they're fucking so, even if they're not awakened, you trigger them. But again, it could go left because you have to temper yourself. Don't spiral. Don't say too much. Because I feel like you guys can go in that rabbit hole and that is to your detriment. That is your Kripna night. All right. Okay. Let's finish this off. I knew this was going to be long. So I guess I'm going to be doing three, 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 which is fun. Diligence is your final card from the Destiny Oracle.
and wonders reverse. That means you can't force diligence and wonders reverse. You can't force people to see what they can, they don't. It's not even they don't want to see it. They just can't. They're not where you're at. You're coming as the queen of swords too. And then just your energy, like I said, and then Jupiter is in your sign. And then the galactic center is across from you. And this aided portal is aligned to the galactic center. And I really, guys, look into Sirius. I really feel like, like it's really connected to your sign. So you guys are born as messengers. You guys are the oracles. You you know, back in the day, the people that used to tell the stories of the fallen, like like in Senegal, we have the griot, the people that, oh, chant, and they know, like, all your lineage. You know what I mean? That, not that you're doing, th that's you guys. Your oracles, it, you, you're ruled by Mercury. You're the throat chakra. Hello? <laughs> okay? Mercury's retrograde now. It's retrograde in Virgo, but it's coming back in Leo. The people will recognize your word. The people will recognize your, like, again, they get it or they don't. Fuck the rest, okay? Fuck the rest. Uh, all right, guys, I got to go. Um, the sun is going down. This is a beautiful video. Love it. I'll be back tomorrow to do the, the next three signs, which will be, sorry. Ooh, I'm getting whew, tongue tied. Oh, I'm in the zone. Um, which will be Cancer, Leo, Virgo. How fitting. Because we're in the fifth today. I'm going to do all these signs before the 8 8 portal. And then I'm going to do a BAM 8 8 portal reading. I'm loving this. Love it. Love you guys. Please consider subscribing, liking the video if you want to donate. Also, help the channel grow. I do need a, some new shits here because my phone is acting up. And I love you. Take care. See you guys tomorrow. Also, I'm going to do uh, readings, uh, one question readings. Send me an email. Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to do $10 for one question readings. Or open donation. I don't know. If you feel like you need a reading. Email me. We'll talk about it. Alright guys. Love you. Let me go pick out some flowers. And put them in a bouquet at my home. I'm going to cut some flowers. I love nature. It's beautiful. I'll be back here tomorrow. Different setting though. Love you. Take care. Mwah. Bye.